I am down in the part of the West End where Kinky Boots and Hand to God is. It's part of the West End that I rarely come to. And I'm on my way to meet my friend Darren Bell who's going to take some new headshots for me because I currently have no new headshots with short hair. We have a very small flat, so when one of us wants to film a video, usually we want to film in the living room because that's the biggest room and it's probably the most aesthetically pleasing, but it means whoever's not filming a video is left with the kitchen, the bedroom and the bathroom. I thought I'd occupy my time by cooking dinner, but now dinner's ready and he's still filming, so I'm really hoping that stays warm. I'll just wait by the oven till he's done. I'm really sorry Daisy, never send me birthday cards because I'm never going to get them to you on time. I'm so sorry Daisy, I hope you had an amazing 18th birthday. You're probably now like 24, I'm really sorry. Friday. Oh no, another one. At lightning speed, the friends of every creature going down the pipe. If up we now, but I like I have had this giant box of letters sat by my desk for a very very long time and every now and again I'll sit down and get through as many as I possibly can but it just seems to never make a dent it's like the never-ending story but I mean that movie ended this box doesn't I apologize it's taken me so long Lucy Lucy I reckon has waited the longest her letter is dated 2013. I'm really, really sorry. I hope your band, Bigger Than Alice, is still going. She had, she had a crush on someone, and uh, I hope that went well. This video is kind of a big deal, because this video is my 500th video. That's a crazy number. I mean, I know I've been making videos for five years now, but that's... That's a crazy, crazy number. And if you've been here from like the first one I uploaded, what was the first video I uploaded? On March 12th, 2011, I uploaded my first ever video to It's Way Past My Bedtime. And it was a cover of the Paramore song, The Only Exception. So if you've been watching since then, congratulations and thank you and well done for staying here that long. And if this is the first video you've ever watched, then welcome you have 500 videos to binge watch, which is probably enough to make you close the window and go and find another YouTuber who's only made like 30 videos because that's easier to catch up on. But I think it's really nice because as I said in my last video, this is kind of like a little turning point in my video making journey where I want to try new things and be more creative. So it's a nice little milestone to hit before I roll up my sleeve. In honor of this being my 500th video, I want to answer some YouTube, it's way past my bedtime based questions. But first I need tea. Ooh, have a good back flick. Emily Macy asks, does anyone give you dirty looks in the street when you're vlogging? I tend not to notice because I'm just very focused on the camera, but I bet they do. Megan Anthony says, what has been your most favorite video to record? The one that always springs to mind is the Crave video that I did with my brother because that was just like a fun day in my back garden with my brother. It didn't really feel like a, you know, I've got to make a YouTube video and it's got to be good. It, it was always going to be good because it's me and my brother just being goofballs. Rhiannon asks, best moment YouTube has enabled you to have? Interviewing James Cameron. James Cameron had specifically asked for a female YouTuber and my name came up in the mix and they sent me out to Belfast. My ticket for this flight was an aisle seat next to two other women, but the woman behind me in the queue as we were getting on the plane, she knew these two women and she was going to be sat a couple rows behind them. And I turned around and said, look, I'll swap seats with you so that you can sit with your friends. Like I'm on my own, so I don't mind where I sit. It doesn't really make any difference to me. And this woman was so grateful. So then when I get to my hotel that they put me up in, this really fancy hotel in Belfast, I have to go down to the lobby to sort of like check in with the media team who are going to be taking us around um, the big Titanic museum. So I go down to the lobby and this woman's there. This woman who I exchanged seats with is in the lobby of this hotel and it turned out that she was like the head, the leader of this whole trip. And she remembered me and she was like, stick with me, 
I'm gonna make this trip amazing for you. So part of the trip was seeing the Titanic, was watching the movie Titanic, and she was like slipping me extra popcorn and extra ice cream, and then when it came to dinner, she made sure that I was like first to go up to the buffet and first served. It was like, you know, karma. That was like the definition of karma, and I'd never seen karma work so quickly before. Cell95 asks, how often do you film videos but decide not to upload them for whatever reason? This has only happened like once or twice, and in the recent past, Katie asks, what advice would you give to aspiring YouTubers? Don't do it for the money. Yeah. Do it because it's fun, and do it because it's something you want to do. Don't do it because you think it's going to make you rich and famous, because that rarely happens. Do you have more of a passion for acting or YouTube or singing? I mean, I have equal passion for them all, otherwise I wouldn't be doing them. It's not a case of having more passion for acting and singing over YouTube. It's a case of having had those passions for a lot longer and therefore wanting to succeed in those things sooner because I've waited a much longer time for them. My battery light is flashing at me, so I'm gonna leave it there, but thank you so much for all your questions. I'm gonna put my camera on charge and Pete and I are gonna go to the cinema tonight for a little date night because this is the last weekend we have before I go on tour with Chitty so we're having a little little quality time together and we're gonna go see Eddie the Eagle. We were gonna see Eddie the Eagle but when we looked up the the film times last night we clicked tomorrow because to us it was tomorrow. Turns out it was past 12 o'clock. So the show times that we were looking at were Monday show times. So Eddie the Eagle isn't showing at 6.20, it's showing at 11.55. So now we have to figure out a game plan. Whilst Pete eats his burger and I eat his fries. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. So the change of plan is now we've come home, we've got some Chinese food from down the road, and we're gonna watch Paddington, because neither of us have seen it. And we also went to Tesco's because we needed some loo roll. And whilst we were there, I confessed that I'd never tried the alcoholic drink, WKD, because I never went to uni and I never had a fresher life. Which then prompted Pete <laughs> to buy some WKD. So that's uh, gonna be a first for me tonight. Can you hear that? That's someone's car on the crossroads. Music doesn't need to be that loud. <laughs> 